hopefully that you are doing great. So in the next one, we will continue for the Jenkins tutorial. And sorry for any background noise around if you hear any, uh, except my voice. So today I want to show you about how to parameterize a Jenkins job. So in this lesson, I want to give the rest as well to send some uh, API requests uh, to JSON placeholder here. It's very simple to have uh, some uh, free fact API for testing purpose. So I'm going to send something very simple that I want to send something like a get method to get the to do uh, number one detail here. And then I will try to verify its uh, details. Okay. So I'm going to give rest Azure. So in just in case you don't know how, how to install the rest Azure. So what you need to do that you just need to input the dependency here uh, because we are using the Maven project. So I do believe that you can go here and we have the documentation and then you can refer to that because this tutorial is not going to say about in detail about the rest Azure. We just try to use something like we have some stuff for our Jenkins tutorial, uh, tutorial. Okay. So here after you add it into the prompt dependency. Uh, so in the class that not things before from the previous lesson, uh, what I want to do that I created a new method here with the new name test to do one data fetching here, you can see, and then I view the quest specification here, request equal given, then I specify the page URL is the URL of the JSON placeholder here. After that, I set the page back here and then it's very simple to send a yes method request for the first to do. After that, I want to print something out. Uh, then I want to compare the user ID should be equal one and the ID should be equal one title and the completed status should be equal four. So it should be something like this here. So now if I run this locally, uh, I have to run from the Maven command like before. For example, I will run this one. Okay, let me try to run this one for you. Then I paste here off. I seem I didn't copy. Now I go here. I can run from the IDE as well, but I want to solve by using the command line. Then we can give in the changing job. Okay, it's now compiling the short cost and then running the test. So you can see here, we have something like uh, from this slide. So from this slide on the line 26, we print something out like the response contents. And then after that, we try to extract something like this. So for example, if I try to put something like number two here, you probably see the test will be failed. Absolutely, but I want to try to make sure that every assertion method here is correct. Yeah, so just wait a little. Yeah, so you can see it's failed and obviously it's failed because we are expecting on uh, the user ID is called number two while the user ID is number one. Okay, so that's missing. So now I'm gonna commit the chain here into the branch main. Uh, so git add, git commit with the message like updated uh, test with uh, REST Azure. And then uh, git push, okay? Then the git push, something like that. So now everything will be in the main branch. So what I need to do that I will try to start the changing job like I will do something like uh, Java hyphen Java and then the location where I store the changing job at uh, the changing job part here and I just need to wait a little now I just want to run the job from the changing uh, let me try to go to the browser here and then I try to refresh here. So probably it's now going to up. Yeah. Okay. Just wait a little. 
just wait a little till it's fully up and running. Yeah, here we go. So we can log in and then Okay, we go to the this chart. Yeah, changing tutorial. And now if I view now, if you fetch the latest short code, right? You will see in the controller. And then the test will be updated. Let's try to run it first and then we will talk about something related to the parameters for this chart. So here you can see if you take a look here, uh you can see it try to get the commit you see the latest commits here and then it run uh the test commands here so you can see here we have everything like we have just done in the local right so now if i come back to the shortcut and what i want to do that i want to try to parameterize this one because for example i'm trying to simulate in the case that i have a many environment like qa environment, staging environment, and pre-production environment, something like that. So I don't want to have something like hard code here. So what I want to do that, I want to get from the system uh, variable. So for example, I can do something like this. So I will put something like string, uh, maybe the page URI here equal uh, something like this is default. Okay, I will put something like default. So in the case, I don't have uh, anything like the system property. I can still have something to run the test. So uh, if I will put something like system and then I will get the, something like get the property, like get the property, I think, get the property. So in this case, I want to get something like page UI, the property name page UI. And then if it says, uh not empty so that means it should be in this case should be not new actually we don't need to do something complete like this but i just want to check if it is not new so i want to reassign something like this equal this one so because i'm using the same here so let me try to put something like screen uh pay uri this one from the environment variable equal this one and then I can replace this one now equal this one so if the base UI environment variable is not new so that means I specify something from the test command so in that case I will get the page UI equal the page UI environment if it is new that means I'm not gonna try to supply any environment variable so I will get the before once here. So then I will try to replace this one, right? So let me try to run the local effort to make sure it's work. And then we will try to supply some uh, variable, environment variable, and then we test it out, then we command, uh, we, we, then we try to commit into the, the GitHub, right? Okay. It just worked like before. Now, what I want to do that, for example, I will put uh, an environment variable. So in this case, because we are using Maven, so I will put something like hyphen, an uppercase D, and page URI. So page URI equal. So in this case, for example, I want to try to put something like incorrect first, okay? HTTPS, um, google.com, something like that. It's the obviously wrong right so in this case i don't run it okay if i run it here okay for example i want to print this out so i will print it out hopefully i can see something like this one okay let's try to run it again enter Now the shortcut is now has been compiled and then you can see we have here. Okay, so this is the one we have from the command line by supplying a, an environment parameter here. You see hyphen uppercase D base URI equal HTTPS google.com. So it's not correct here, but we just want to check it, right? So in this case, 
probably it will work technically, it will work when we put into the changing. So for example, we can do something like this one and then it will work like before. So let me try to do something like this one. And then I replace by the correct one. Okay, let me try to delete this one as well. Okay, so in this case, if the page your eyes environment variable is not new, we can assign here. So in the case, if we will check something like if now after that, if the page your eyes uh, is empty. Okay, so it's empty. We you try to throw uh, the new runtime exception like we can do something like uh, please uh, supply uh, the page URI value right we can do something like that and then the test will be failed by this right now I will try to commit this one this add everything git commit uh, with the message like update this the base URI environment variable and then I git boost so it's still uh, be on the main branch here right now so now I will come back to the changing job this is the main part of the tutorial so if I come back here I need to specify a command uh, um, you know something like the user can input the GUI at the time they build the project so I go to the config here and then I will try to scroll down to the moment and again by the way sorry for any background noise around because from the family member okay so this job is you see here this project is parameterized okay so you select this one after that is to ask for you the parameter type here you can see in this one, you can just see, select the screen parameter. And in this case, you can put something in the page URI, that's it. And then the default value, okay, let's try to put the default value here. If you want something like the default environment or something like that, you put the default value here. And then this is the decryption. Try to delete the trailing slash because you can see that in your project. If you put something like the traveling slot like that, and then we try to guess with this one, so the the final URL will be wrong. Okay, so you can decrypt some, something like not, um, please delete the traveling uh, slash uh, um, traveling slash um, if if any okay sorry and then uh, we can do something like trim the screen so for example if you search input something like we have a space beginning or space at the end so we will try to remove those spaces like so we can use the trim screen here and then very important okay very important here you see the command here you need to specify hyphen uppercase this and the page you are I equal uh, you put something like the double bracket here and the base you are I and this just the the dollar okay the dollar page you are I here and then um, yep then you can save now if you go back here you can see it is not view now anymore it's the view with parameters so if you click here you will see something here you see we have the page URI now and then let me try to go back to the short cost so now you can see we have just removed the hard cost for the page URI here so if we don't have anything for the page URI we will see a new runtime exception right we will try it should be supply not supply <laughs> okay we will see something like the runtime exception okay so let's try to run the correct one first and then we can try to make it fail okay now you view and then we can go to the control log here you can see it tracked 
the latest commit here, you see updated the page UI environment variable. Let's see. Yeah, so the test passed because we input the correct the correct URL for it, okay? So now try to make it felt. So in this case, for example, I try to remove it, okay? And then I hit on the view. And what I am expecting to see that, I wanna see an error, right? Because we don't have uh, any the URI for it, so the URI is empty now. So I just wanna see an error. So you can see here, Please supply the uh, supply the page URL, but because we have the typo here, and I have just uh, you know adjusted here, but I didn't commit into the GitHub, so that's why it's still getting the old ones. You see, please uh, supply page URL value, and it's a runtime exception. So here you have just done like you have just done by try to configure the job with some parameter here. So. When we have something like that, that means we call oh, it's a, a parameterized changing chart, okay? So you can supply more and then you can input more. It's up to you, it's up on your project, okay? But this is the way to go. But you need to pay attention one important thing. It's very small, but it's very important, right? This one is the way you get the, you know, the parameter from your chart. You see the dollar here, the double bracket here, and the name should be exactly with the name that you specify here. What does that mean for exactly? For example, this is the name page URL. So scroll down, this one should be exactly like something like that. Okay, so try to explore yourself, try to have a parameter, right? So again, the shortcut here, you can see here the S that's pro block here, drinking tutorial, and I have just committed. Let me try to refresh. I have just committed the latest train here so you can come here and then you can use it, okay? You don't need, actually, you don't need to create anything uh, from your side, you just need to use it, okay? So bye for now, uh, see you uh, in the next lesson and stay safe, bye.